Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, welcome back to Rimwall. We are building a fortress in this episode. Um, last episode we got our turrets up and running. I feel like I'm going to possibly need some more power, so I might go ahead and build another Geogen Geo here. Just because I can. I've got the resources for it. Yeah, plenty of resources. And then we're going to focus on maybe expanding our storage and doing some research. Sneak peek for an episode coming up soon. Space. It's the final frontier. These are the voyages of a Rimworld group. That's all I'm going to say. You'll have to look forward to, to the video coming out. Um, but yeah, it's been something in the making. Expanding the storage area, so we'll have three shelves here, and we'll use these rooms for something else. Then we're going to research mending, so we can... Ooh. Mayday, mayday, containment failure by pirate and responding impact, the gold radio signal. is accompanied, this is a spoiler as well. Blazing streak across the side, it appears that the ship will make landfall not far from where we are. The downship will attract every pirate, looter, and treasure hunter in a wild radius. Even if you arrive in time, you'll have to fight both fires and raids in order to secure the ship's valuable salvage. Seems that there may be danger there. Do we do we risk it? Do we risk it for our biscuit? How long would it take to get there? You know what? I think we're gonna I think we're gonna risk it for our biscuits. Bit of, bit of YOLO, right? We'll send Jamie Finley and Carol. Take some food with us take our, some medicine and we'll take our bed rolls yeah we'll see if there's anything valuable there shall we now I'm not gonna say we're gonna stay here if it's too dangerous we'll bail but I'm kind of excited to try it you know See if we can get anything decent from here. So here we go. Generating map for new encounter. Oh golly. Oh, mechanoids. Okay. Okay, so mechanoids in four hours. I mean, we'll see if... Jesus Christ. We'll see if we can get anything valuable from here. That's a big old ship, too. Um, if you know what this mod's from... This is spoilers for the next episode. Like, can I reform caravan and just like go like this? I totally might be able to. Okay, if I go cancel zone, add home zone, pick the right map. Encompass the whole map, go to the world, reform the caravan, take us three, obviously, we'll take all the travel supplies. Okay, so, n yeah, oh, ho, 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 I don't think we're supposed to be able to do this so early in the game, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So, hello, all of these guns. We're going to be over and coming, but that's fine. I'll, I'll work on that in a minute. Uh, I'm not taking any of the ship stuff or any of the weapons or anything like that. Okay, so we're slightly over encumbered right now. Let's get rid of... They don't do too much. Get rid of the berries. That's okay. And then maybe ditch. Let 
Maybe ditch the minigun? I kind of want the charge rifles, though. Ditch the charge lance, although that would be worth taking with us for money-wise. Alright, let's ditch some more food then, shall we? Let's ditch the simple meals. And the fine meals. I want the components, that's the problem. Maybe I'll just take 20 of the components. And then just... That, that'll do. I'm sorry we couldn't rescue any of you, you guys. But that, that, I, uh, so worth it, so worth it. So yeah, if you know what that mod's from, you'll know what's coming up soon. The caravan arrived home so we can unload all of our weapons and the such. I'm gonna have Jamie pick up the Psychic Animal Pulsar again, and then equip the Charge Lance. Finley, you can go ahead and equip a Charge Rifle, as can you, Carol. Uh, Mass, you can equip that. And then, Puppy, you can equip... Oh, there's one down here. That charge rifle for everybody. Oh, except for Kate. Kate, you can have that one. Puppy, you can stick with the shotgun for now. There we go. Everybody done got a good gun. Although, you all dropped your melee weapons, which I kind of didn't want to happen. But fine. Carol, Mass, go ahead and equip. I just not have enough knives. Oh, there's some over here. You go ahead and equip the, that one, and then Jamie, you can look at that uranium knife as a sidearm. Happy days, happy days. Expanded the storage area, so we're going to put shelves up here, and I'll probably get rid of these ones. I could have just moved them. I'm too lazy for that, and we have enough steel. Uh, we're working hard on getting research done. Mending is next, and then sterile materials. Ah, uh, a mech cluster. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go and deal with this. Fortunately, I don't think it's going to be a problem. One, two, three, four. Four people are going, so one, two, three, four. Take some health medicine with us and we'll take a few bits of food. We have arrived in what the f. What? What? I'm gonna use dev mode here to. free our colonists, because I don't really know what's happening here. What on earth? Um, bear with me. We're back. I had to use a uh, dev mode to sort that one out. I'm really not entirely sure what happened, but there was clearly a, a bugged, a bugged spawn. Almost guaranteeing it's from one of my mods. Because who doesn't run RimWorld with mods, you know? Let's go ahead and break this door down. I'm not even sure the mechanoids are going to wake up. That's fine. And now we destroy the toxic spewer. Mechanoids have woken up, that's fine. They're on and around. There we go. We'll pick up the components. What? How are you being shot? How are you? Where are you being shot from? I don't know. Let's just get out of this place. Is broken. Place is broken. I know I go on about it a lot, but mad animals. I really should disable them because they just do nothing but annoy me. However, oh hello. <clears throat> However, our turrets made very. Swift work of that. 
So Stir grew up and is now called Bicep, which I mean, I mean, it's a it's a great name. It's it's a great name. I need to get Bicep some clothes. Oh no, we've got some clothes. Oh yeah, we made the Parkers, didn't we? We accidentally made a bulk load of Parkers, uh, for for children. So I will go ahead and make a kid pants and a kid shirt. Just so he's not running around in the nude. I will give... I'm gonna give Bicep the heavy SMG. Shooting skill of nothing. I don't want him in combat, but it's, it's just in case, you know? Just in case. We've started making lavish meals now, which actually looks quite delicious in, in just the picture there. Um, Simply because we have so much raw fungus... And this gives a, a fairly significant mood boost. A masterpiece of the culinary arts. Me this meal nourishes the body, mind, and soul. That that lavish meal was amazing. It nourished my body and my soul. <laughs> that just sounds dirty. A three-year-old is calling from nearby is being chased by Yitakin. He begs for safety and offers to join you at Fortress and Cliff. I mean, I'm mean, I'm gonna accept it. It's a three-year-old. We can indoctrinate him. It's fine. So, Smik Simikov, you useless sack of sh Shimikov, come on down. The rest of you, come up here and get ready to fight. If they get too close, we can abandon the turrets. Oh, they're sieging us. Oh, that's so much worse. It's a siege. Okay, I'm gonna have to bait them into attacking with Jamie. I didn't even consider it could be a siege. I didn't... I didn't even think about it. I'm gonna have to bait them into attacking with Jamie. And then hopefully... No, Bicep, you... Uh, schedule. You two stay in the home zone. Which is almost as good as... No, I'm not going to say that. So I have to get a few hit shots off here. They already have a... Uh, a mortar up and running, which I don't like. What is that throwing? Did they just throw a rock at me? Shell-loaded sandstone chunk. It's chucking rocks at me. That's just rude. All right, Jamie, start falling back. Start falling back. Ah, oh, you got hit. If they're just chucking rocks at me, I'm not particularly concerned. If I'm honest with you, we'll see what happens. Okay, n now they've loaded shells. Now now I'm concerned. Because most of our base is under a and I think I'm going to wait for them to run out of shells and attack us. That may not be the best idea. But I think it's the safest, considering we have no way of, like... But I'm going to have you all stay inside for now. I think it's the best idea, considering we have no way of getting close to them. And we have no mortars of our own. Yet. They only have four more shells left, so I think we'll be okay. Okay, they are sleeping. I'm debating or not whether this might be a good idea to attack them, a good time to attack them. I think... Mm, Jamie's still hurt, and we're not really that good at shooting. They've only got four incendiary shells left, which don't worry me, but three high explosive shells. If they take out our turrets, then we might have an issue. I'm tempted to have them come in, cover him, and then Jamie shoot the... Oh, never mind, they're awake. Okay, one more shell coming in. 
while it hit the turret, I'm not too scared about it because it's raining. That one's gone into the mountain. How many turrets have they got left? Or shells have they got left? They've got four shells left. Okay, they're on the last shell. They'll be attacking now. Or well, they'll be attacking soon. So I'm going to get our soldiers ready. So I think once they register, they're out of shells. Oh shit, they've still got one more. Okay. You watch this one be the one that hits all of our colonists and kills them. No, we're all good. We're all good. Going through the mountain. We're all good. I'm going to have Simakov and Bicep hang, hang back just in case. But they should be attacking us now. No, they found more shells. Do you have shells on you? Oh, they still have more shells. Where did they get more shells from? I think they're getting launch pods of shells come through. I see now that one we're going to have to deal with. That fire we're going to have to deal with. And this one too. But as long as they're only firing incendiary shells at the moment, which is all they are doing, I can I think I can outlive them. Because I think they're going to attack us. I think they attack us eventually. Although I'm not entirely sure. I may have to get them when they're sleeping. Yeah, look, they do. They get another launch pod of shells. Okay. All right. Nah, it's time to go deal with this. To go deal with these guys. While it's raining, they can put out the fires. It's okay. We're, we're moving in. We're moving in. I think coming from this way will be the best direction for shelter. It'd be nice if I can get up here and fight or like take a shot on these incendiary shells, but I'm not entirely sure I will be able to. But I'm going to combat command. Another fire. It's fine. It's raining. The rain will put it out. All right. Let's move in. Let's make sure they're behind some sort of cover. I finally come down here. Jamie might have to move. Ah, oh, they can still hit us, but we can't hit them at the moment. Fine, Jamie's gonna take a few shots. I can't target the incendiary shells, which is annoying. But as soon as they start coming closer, Jamie's gonna fall back. And we'll take some more shots with our charge rifles. I'm gonna have Jamie come over here and pop the smoke. And see if he can take a few more shots. Whilst staying in cover. And then he's going to move back while he's... While these guys shoot with the charge rifles. How are we doing on health? Couple hits. Nothing too bad. Why are you not firing? Move up. Right, while they're eating, just go ahead and get a few hits on, and then we'll fall back. I'm gonna pop smoke again. Alright, now I'm gonna have you come home and deal with the fires that are back here. So as they're attacking the colony, I want to get these guys home and healed up. So they are assaulting the colony. The turrets are gonna probably deal with them more than likely. If not, if they if they by chance break through the turrets, which I don't think they will, considering the amount of firepower that's going through them. At least I'm hoping not. I'm hoping the turrets will be able to deal with them. I need to get these guys healed up. If the turrets don't deal with them and they destroy them. I can rebuild them, I have enough components. And we'll have to 
and we'll, we'll rely on the traps to, to kill them off. But for now, I would rather... Hope that, our, yeah, our turrets can deal with them fine. We'll go and loot the, um... We will go and loot the... Mortar Strike site, but healing our colonists is first priority. So all of you... Get into a bed. So after being sieged, we're now being raided. Jesus Christ. Okay. I mean, it's a little rude. That's quite a lot of you. And you have grenades and stuff. So our turrets are definitely falling. We're not going to keep the turrets up, but... We should be able to... I mean, I didn't expect them to get here so quickly either. Yeah, we're gonna have to start falling back already. Oh, puppy. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm already concerned. Puppy, run! All of you start falling back. Oh, puppy, you are... So, oh, puppy, I'm so sorry. If it helps, the grenades are killing as many of them as they are hurting me. Alright, puppy's down. Alright, they've thrown a turret. Let's... Uh, thrown a shield. Let's just retreat. The... The traps are gonna hopefully... Deal a considerable amount of damage to them. And it looks like it is. It looks like they are. I hate grenades. Oh, they're going to try and kidnap whoever they can. Oh, no. Puppy, no. I'm not going to be able to get to Puppy unless I... I could break through this mine through this wall, and I think I'm gonna have to. So mass, come up here and mine through this wall. You three come up here, Jamie. Jamie and Kate stay down here. Oh god, now they're chucking grenades through the wall. Oh, I hate this. I hate all of this. Okay, they're fleeing. They're fleeing because they've grenaded themselves. Are they really going up this way to try and flee? We're not going to rescue Puppy in time. Fine, we'll finish off as many of them can. We will find you, Puppy. We will rescue you. I might get to Puppy. If, if Jamie and Kate can get here in time, I might get to Puppy. In time, just. I'm going to have the other three deal with the fires. Come on, you guys can make it. You guys can make it. They're not gonna make it. Puppy has been kidnapped. I am taking revenge on all pigskins. From this day forth. Are you kidding me? Are you actually having a wild giggle right now? Because this isn't unfair at all, is it? No, no, just keep just keep attacking us. It's fine. Just yeah, yeah, because we didn't want to live or anything. We don't want to. I know we said we were building an impenetrable fortress. But we haven't got there yet. And just give us a break. At least we have a choke point we can deal with them through here. It would help if you actually hit your shots, people. Attack the guy that's closest to you, for goodness sake. Not the one that's far behind. Well. No, chase him down. Chase him down and murder his face. 
and the rest of his body. No one lives anymore. Okay, we now have our def well, our turrets set back up. I'm going to work on researching mortars so I can pummel them before they get here. I'm realizing now I need a more efficient way of getting over here. So what I think I'm going to do is dig in here and replace... Maybe this one with a door? Replace that one with a door. So they have to go like through here. Uh, I think that might work. It's been relatively quiet here on the rim, but we have built our mortars now. We're just re researching shells to be able to use them. Can I just unopen that door? Thank you. Unopen? Close the door. Uh, turrets are built back up. Had to use a lot of components. I may actually build some spike traps in front of them. I think that might be a good idea, actually. Stop them from, like... Climbing over them? I, I think that's... Because they can still get in there, but, like... They usually come straight from the front and attack them, so I think... Some spike traps in front of the turrets is a good idea. Mass is hard at work researching. We have stuff to do mortars, but we're researching biofuel refining. I just had to talk, didn't I? I had to say something, didn't I? Uh, we're being raided. The first thing's first. We're going to work on getting these traps done. I'm going to have you guys fill these ones in. Carol, once you're done there... Go ahead, man this mortar. Mass, you too. I'm even going to have the kids man the mortars. And have Kate man this one. Hopefully get a few shots off of them. Using all of our remaining shells. Get down here and finish that damn trap, yeah? It looks like we hit around them. But didn't actually hit them. So that was annoying, but somewhat to be expected. Can you come here and finish these damn traps, please? I want to get them done before they assault us. Thank you. And as such, they are attacking us. We'll have Bicep and Simakov get into the base. Have the others come around and get ready to fight them off. See how efficient these are. I may have to build a wall that goes out like here so they have to funnel through here. It does look, yeah, it does look like the traps work. They said, you said you were fleeing. Which way are you fleeing, for Christ's sake? Oh, you bastard. That's fine. There's only a couple of them left. Got one left. There we go. Nicely done, people. Nicely done. Yo... People really hate us, and now we have a mech hive raid. Though, thankfully, it's only two. Annoyingly, though, this guy can outshoot our turret, so I'm going to have to take him out sooner rather than later. So let's get ready to rock and roll, people. Because there's going to be a charge forward situation here. Charge forward! May take aim and fire when ready. Ooh, Mass took a hit there. For the right leg. It matters not. But we have destroyed them. I didn't realise this, but there's a second raid. However, it's one militer. 
and then one Scyther, who actually may get close, which I'm kind of worried about. Yeah, he's going to destroy that turret, isn't he? No, we killed him. We killed him. We're all good. With but five days left, I feel like there's a big raid coming in, so I'm just shoring up our defenses just a little more. So, some plasto down here that we just might well, we are in the process of mining out at the moment. Uh, so, I'd like to build some auto turrets. I knew he would eventually die. Boom rat got himself caught in here. I knew he'd die eventually. Not quite a raid, but almost as bad. A mechanoid cluster right outside the goddamn base. That's annoying. That's fine, we can manage. I figured we would get the first hits off on the um the mechs with our mortars. And I hope that that deals enough damage to either wake them up or destroy them, either or. Wow, you guys kind of suck. But Go ahead and fire off with another volley. We've got our turrets here. We have auto cannons even now as well, which should hopefully. Are you gonna? How have you not killed that thing yet? Well, we killed the turrets at least, but these guys are too far away for our turrets to hit so we're gonna have to manually attack these guys muscle parasites that's not kind of what not what i wanted right now now come out this way and then like ambush them from the sides because they're also not very accurate which is pretty good charge them Oh, Jamie's target. Oh, ouch. They're targeting Jamie. I don't like that. Pop the smoke. Or just don't pop the smoke? Okay. Oh, now you pop the smoke. Oh, poor Finley. Come on, you guys can do this. We are being raided again. There's a couple of mechanoids, but more importantly, these guys are here. And I'm I'm not the massive fan of, of that. We've got... We're on our penultimate day. We have two Scythers here as well, left over from... One... Uh, left over from a mechanoid raid that came through. I'm less worried about them than I am these guys. Got like power armor and shit. How have they got power armor? I know I'm on a higher difficulty, but that just seems like a little bit unfair. Well, the mechs are ass starting their assault. I'm gonna have our guys come down and prepare. I'm gonna have the kids stay at home. I may have to use the mortars on... There's one of them. Where's the other one? The other one's still up here. Okay, I think the mechs can be dealt with by our turrets. I think we need to try and take out as many of them through mortars as we can. Many As many of the... Um, Of these guys as we can. So I'm going to set force target right in the middle. I've got one more mech coming through. Well, we got a couple of hits on them. Not as many as I would like. Are they broken one up? Can you... None of you shooting them? 
How did you lay 17 components? Oh, we're gonna we're totally gonna lose. Yeah. We're gonna lose a turret. I'm gonna have to take them take them. I'm gonna have to bring the guys in really quickly. Because if we lose another turret. Because we lost another turret. Oh, because these are within... I see, because they're within the minimum range. I can't let you destroy the auto turret. Okay. I'm going to have to reposition some of these traps. Before the other enemies get here. Don't know if I can build another one of the, I don't know, I don't have... I don't really have the time to... I don't think I have the time to build more turrets here. This is concerning. Yeah, as expected, I didn't have enough time to build the turrets back up. Okay. This is the biggest raid we've had to deal with so far. I want you guys to reinforce this area with turrets. Come down here now, Jamie. Shouldn't have got the kids to do it. They take too long. All right, well done, guys. Now come back behind here. I wonder if moving these back a little bit would be a good idea. Moving them further back so they... No. Turret, go. Oh, God, the hit. Have the kids fall back. And stay in the doorways. Jesus Christ, those auto turrets are wild. Oh my god, fall back already. Fall back. The turrets are just going to have to deal with as many of them as they can. I think that's what it's going to have to be a case of. Try and survive. You guys need to fall back here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, we're so done for. We are so done for. Stay here and see if you can get any more kills. You guys hang by the doors. That's one down. There's a couple of them dead now. I, I, I care not about the deer. I knew I knew there would be a raid right like next to our last day. So far, we're holding our own. All right, start start backing up now. Start backing up. Yeah, start falling back. Start falling back. This will be the final stand area. They'll have to go through- they may destroy other stuff, but they have to go through the traps to get to us. I mean, one raid was bad enough, but a second one up here is ridiculous. How hurt are you guys? Hurt enough. Go ahead and get you into here and we'll get you some medicine. Oh, because they're wearing the armor. These they, these guys are just tanking these traps. One down at least. I don't care about the fire. Oh, the first group are fleeing. The first group are fleeing, which means we could be able to... Maybe take their armor. Alright, you three come with me. We're going to see if we can take some of the armor off the bodies here. 
before the second raid comes and tries to kill us all. Still trying, to, still trying to break their way out, they are. Do any more of you have any marine armor on you? Or is it just the one person that has any marine armor on you? Just the one by the looks of it. Okay. You guys come back in here. You guys attended to. I'll have Kate come in here and grab the armor from... You know, put it on, Kate, straight away, please. I'm going to, for now, just remove the home area from here. They have to stay in the area, and we'll come back when the second raider here. God, the second ones are starting their assault. I've moved as many of the traps as we can, and I've got a turret up here. I'll have to come around here and, like, get destroyed by the... Destroy the turret, and hopefully... Some of them will be hurt and damaged. But they're on their way, and there's a lot of them. I don't know why the first one was so overpowered and these guys aren't as powerful. I'm not complaining about that fact, but it's mildly concerning. All right, we're going to have to set up here. I'm going to have the two kids standing in the doorway there. We're just going to have to hope and pray. Hope and pray, that's the main plan. Here they come. So hopefully there's going to be a group of them up here. I was hoping the turret would explode. I'm not going to lie to you, I was hoping the turret was going to explode. It did not. So here they come. I'm sorry, Kate, you're going to have to deal with your exhaustion for now. Ha 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 ha! The traps have worked. The traps have worked. Go get yourself some sleep, everybody. The traps worked. <sighs> that was stressful, but... As the sun begins to rise... And winter begins, so ends the 99th day of being on this rim world. And we have a mad guinea pig. You gonna chase over? Yes, chase after these guys. Good job, mad guinea pig. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this episode. There we go, 100 days. We survived. I mean, barely. We barely survived after those two massive raids. But we survived. So I hope you guys have liked this video. If you have, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And um, if you've waited this long, the next couple videos are going to be with the Save Our Ship 2 mod. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.